I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about this. Oh no, oh no! Oh! Yeah, oh no! Throttle up, throttle up! Let Do we go. have super glue ready? Three, two, one, launch! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Hello pilots of the internet, I'm here today with the Nighthawk gliders who have worked with Power Up to make this awesome balsa glider that flies with the Power Up 4.0. Will you guys just tell me a little bit about yourselves and about this awesome tornado updraft? Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Brad. I'm Bruce. And we are Nighthawk gliders. Um, we started off on YouTube and uh, created a business of launching catapult gliders and uh, so we've got some kits on sale. Uh, but um, we went to Flight Fest last year and uh, we met uh, Shai Guitain and uh, he was interested in finding other things to fly. So we've created our Tornado Updraft and uh, this, is a, this is our model that uh, is being kitted with the Power Up uh, 4.0 right now. That's awesome, let's see this thing in action. Yeah, cool. <laughs> the Power Up 4.0 turns almost anything into a smartphone controlled flying machine. With its dual motors, it boasts over twice the thrust output of the 3.0, and its onboard computer compensates for imperfections in your plane. If you enjoyed this video and you're interested, you can pre-order your PowerUp 4.0 on Indiegogo today. Whoa, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had fun with the uh, Tornado um, updraft. This is a 12 inch model. It's, um, it's a small model, right? And uh, the Power Up 4.0 can definitely power this. But the question is, can it power up that? <laughs> 30, 36 inches. This is a 36 inch Tornado catapult glider designed by Brad and Bruce. Our challenge today is to see how many Power Up 4.0s it's gonna take to make this thing fly. And assuming it takes three or fewer, Brad, Bruce, and I will all try to co-pilot the plane in a weird three-headed dragon type approach where we're each controlling one module and we work together to try to steer this plane. We attached the first Power Up 4.0 to the glider using a thin strip of balsa wood and some clips from the Power Up 4.0 accessory pack. We place the module at the glider's center of gravity to try to keep the plane well balanced despite the extra weight. And with that, we were ready for our first test. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about this. I don't have high hopes about it turning, but we're gonna find out now, won't we? <laughs> oh, I'm turning. Oh. Throttle, 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 throttle. I'm letting it glide. <laughs> It turned? I turned. It turned? It turned. I Well, the wind might have pushed it that way, but I felt like I was turning. <laughs> All righty. Turning right. Turning left. It is flying, guys. Oh my gosh. It is flying. Oh my gosh, look at that. that well, turning. Turn, turn. I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning. It's down, the wind is pushing it hard. Yeah. Oh no! Throttle up, throttle up. It is throttle. I can't say I expected it, but in spite of those very windy conditions, the giant glider flew really well with even just a single power up 4.0, right up to the point where it got out of range. Oh! <laughs> I think we fix it and transition to two, because with yeah. that we might be able to fight that, the wind a bit better. This is very repairable, and um, we're happy about that. <laughs> After that gnarly crash, we made our repairs and mounted two Power Up 4.0s to the plane with one on each wing. But you're mounting these pretty far in on the wings because we might catapult launch this thing. Uh, yeah, you may have let the cat out of the bag, but yeah. Oh, I was not supposed to say. <laughs> Whoops, were we going to catapult this? <laughs> That's Maybe. for later in the video. <laughs> we'll see if this survives the two pilot <laughs> flight. <laughs> You wanted a pilot with Bruce, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. So um, I think that's a great idea. We just need to know how we're gonna turn. Right, so obviously we could do one where someone kills power entirely, the other's going full power to try to turn. We both tilt so that each module is doing its own turning mechanism. We both go half throttle 
enough to get it floating. Okay. And then we stay at half throttle. If I want to turn left, I'll throttle more. Okay. And I'll make it turn left. And if I a full throttle and it's not doing its turn, then you throttle down. Uh, I'll tell you to throttle down if I need if you know to need to make you're it more captain. turn. You're just captain. You're <laughs> yeah. telling me what okay. to do, and yeah. I follow your orders. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. I, I think that's the best way to do it. You're the pro. We'll here. work together. <laughs> now, don't that look like a airliner? That, that is that amazing. Epic. <laughs> do we have super glue ready? I'm gonna go this way. We got a lot of wind going. Ready? Yeah. All right. Oh, give it more. <laughs> Our first test flights with two motors went poorly, so we continued to discuss the challenges of steering the plane with two independently controlled modules. So presumably, it, it should should still work if we're doing differential thrust on both of them. So that would be both of us tilting the planes to turn. If say we're turning to the left, that would mean this module would kill this motor and still power this one and this would kill this motor and still power this one. Okay, okay. so because the lever arm here is longer than the lever exactly. arm here, so you're gonna have a little bit more power, as long as you guys' power the exact same power thrust. is the same, because someone might <laughs> still if, be a little bit less. And if the thrust yeah. output at 60% on this module is exactly the same as the thrust output at 60% on this module, you know, like, I think we, I think we just gotta, <laughs> we over. gotta put it in the air yeah. and then see what happens. <laughs> That's right. 75%, Good. Three, two, one. After each failed flight, we were making slight adjustments to the plane based on our observations and hoping to improve its performance. Uh, so we felt like it was a little nose heavy, so we're just gonna remove some of the clay nose weight that we had. Uh, that was mainly for our catapult glider. Um, but now that we got power-ups, it's changed the CG a little bit, so. You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Okay. There we go. Whoa! I almost had it. I, I don't want to cut off the metal yet, but okay. I'm just going to put clay on the tail. Just It's not much. Okay. It seems weird did to you do bring that. Any clay? I did. But the idea is that I just want to I'm kind of balance it a little bit. Doing this. Uh, actually, yeah. If you a little bit of, give uh, a little up elevator, that would be without snapping it. Yeah. Let's see, let's see what 100% looks like. Yeah. yeah. I After experiencing reasonable success with two motors, we decided to add that third motor and attempt to pilot the plane like a three-headed dragon. At this point, the plane is looking pretty epic. I have to say, I mean, just look at that thing. We're now going to all three pilot this thing together. Bruce is controlling the center module and he's basically going to help us either climb or descend. He's gonna be holding it at 100% throttle unless we're just nosing way up. Meanwhile, Brad and I are going to be trying to control the yaw of the plane, either turning it left or right. Uh, we're gonna keep it at about 50% throttle until we try to turn, in which case, the person on the outside of the turn is going to throttle up and the person on the inside is going to throttle down and we'll turn left and right that way and hopefully you have a more <laughs> successful flight than last time. <laughs> yeah. If you've ever heard the saying, there are too many chefs in the kitchen, that is literally exactly what it felt like when we had three people all trying to pilot the plane at the same time. Even with one person calling out orders to the other two, it was just really difficult to coordinate our controls in real time, especially with the wind kicking the plane around. It was like trying to ride a tandem bike where you need to constantly adjust your balance as you ride, but there are three of you and it's really hard already. And then there's this fourth person, i.e. the wind in this scenario, that is literally just trying to push you over the whole time. Launching! Ah, too much. Oh, too much Roll. Uh. After many adjustments, crashes, and repairs, we finally just conceded and changed our tactics entirely. Okay, so we've tried the three-headed dog approach. We weren't great at it, so we're gonna mix it up a little bit. 
Bruce is still piloting the middle and he's gonna be controlling pitch, whether we're going up or down. And uh, Brad now has two uh, motors under his control and he's gonna be kind of tilting them in unison to try to steer. And we'll see if that's a better result. Ready? Wish me luck. That's beautiful. <laughs> this is so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Turning left. Turning right. We were the problem all, all along. <laughs> the three-headed dragon. Uh-oh. I better try to uh -oh. land. Uh-oh, stall. Yeah, it seems like we're getting out of control. Gotta land, gotta land. We're good. I think, yeah, bring her in for a gentle landing. This is left. Yeah. I'm oh no, oh no! <laughs> I think it's stuck. It throttles all the way off, by the way. So you gotta so slide it in. You can see it wants to tip stall. I had one disconnection. All right, that was, hey. good. That was good. Hey, that was That's a, a success. Yeah, that did not crash. 100%. I mean, it didn't break it now. <laughs> After our success with three motors, we decided it was finally time for the grand finale. Brad and Bruce set up a catapult so we could try to launch this glider literally way up into the air before attempting to pilot it safely back to the ground. Now, I had never done anything like this before, so I was really stoked about this. All right, so what we're doing here is we are mounting this up to the catapult. Uh, we're planning on kind of launching it into a bank that's the hope anyways, and we'll turn left and level out and hopefully have some sustained flight. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, launch. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we looped it! Oh! <laughs> we looped it! Oh, no. oh, oh. <laughs> I it's alive! Loop. I it, was it needed more roll. Three, two, one, launch. <laughs> I don't think we can ask for much more. I mean, come on, that was fun. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Obviously, we had some success today. We had more than our fair share of failures, but literally all three of us were piloting the same plane at once. We had that crazy loop at the end. Honestly, a really fun day. So thank you. Be sure to check out the Nighthawk Gliders YouTube channel. Passing it off to you guys. Oh, thanks for hosting us. We had an absolute blast today. Hey, for all you folks out there, enjoy flight and enjoy life. We'll catch you next time.